it has to be a lot of pressure being married to Queen Elizabeth's grandson, that's for sure. Meghan Markle wed Prince Harry on May 19, and Elizabeth was in attendance, so now, many royal fans are curious about the princess-to-be's relationship with his grandma. The Queen and Meghan both appeared at the services for Christmas Day and Commonwealth Day back in December, and they were photographed together, we'll never forget the first photo of Meghan a curtsying for Elizabeth, though, at the royal wedding in the first official photos released by Kensington Palace. And in mid-March, the Queen gave the couple her royal permission to marry followed by an official letter in mid-May. Photo credit, Getty Images, but believe it or not, in a previous interview with Entertainment Tonight, Katie Nichol, author of Harry, Life, Loss, and Love, shared that the two actually get along well, even though Meg often breaks royal protocol. When you look at Meghan on paper she is not necessarily what you might expect of a conventional royal fiancé and that she's American, she's a well-known face, Nichol said. She's filmed some pretty racy sex scenes that we've all seen in suits. Not everything from being a divorcee to being a bit older than Prince Harry to coming from a dual heritage family, you might wonder if the queen being of a certain generation and, of course, being the queen might have been at all concerned. She continued, but everything I heard from the sources I spoke to was that she really felt from the outset that Meghan was a positive person in Prince Harry's life that she made him very happy, and that she was really very supportive. A post shared by Kensington Palace at Kensington Royal on May 21, 2018 at 6.51 a.m. PDT, and when it came to Meghan and Harry's upcoming nuptials, the Queen was allegedly being very accommodating. Nicole shared, I'm told from my sources at Windsor Castle that Queen Elizabeth is being very, very accommodating. She has said to the couple, this is your wedding, this is your day. Plan it as you want it. This is very generous because, don't forget, the Queen is opening up her home, she previously shared. The Queen and Harry have always been very close, so it's nice to see her supporting his relationship with Meghan. Don't forget she's hugely close to her grandson. They have a very special relationship. She is thrilled to be seeing Harry settle down and finally marry, Nicole explained. She's going to want to be a very important part of that day and indeed she will, she said of the nuptials, in which she was correct. Even the Queen's gorgeous like Meghan. The gorgeous took to you straight away, Harry teased in their engagement interview back in November. I've spent the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in, absolutely nothing. And Meghan didn't deny it. That's true, she added. Just laying on my feet during tea, it was very sweet. Meghan is also smitten over Queen Elizabeth. It's incredible, I think, you know, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother, she said in her engagement interview with Harry. All of those layers have been so important for me, so that when I met her, I had such a deep understanding and, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And we've had a really, she's an incredible woman. So sweet. Join our Facebook group for the latest updates on Kate Middleton, Prince William, and all things royal. More from Closer Weekly Queen Elizabeth has had just about enough of Meghan Markle's dad, and we can't blame her Prince Harry may officially be Queen Elizabeth's favorite grandchild, find out why. Queen Elizabeth is a proud great-grandmother to six cute kids, meet the youngest generation of royals.